325-28-21, Shopify, S-H-O-P, testing the 200-day moving average, and what a big down move that Shopify has had in the last two days, yes, yes, people, join optiontradingroom.com, so you can avoid real big train wrecks, and Learn how to buy and what the dips are when it's on sale. Has a daily sell signal minus 4.4 today, so it hasn't had one for a little while. We had them over here when we were making bottoms, so we have come much lower now. With that 200 day moving average, and it attempted to bounce three different times in on an interday level as it did now. Let's take a look at the weekly on shop, okay? And this is the time of year that Shoppy likes to do well, going into April. Here, I'll take those alerts off of there just so everybody can see it. There we are. There is the 20-week moving average that it really violated on the test. And, you know... The 50-week moving average is at 1021. That would be the greatest monumental support. I'm just kidding. No, the strongest support level. And, and it would be oversold. It's oversold right now. Shop is oversold. Let's go back to the daily on shop. Okay. That 200 day is very critical. And the body of the price on the last print is 1065 and guess what that's right there at that 200 day moving average no matter how you look at it now if they run that thing and they drop it then we go a lot lower let's take a look at it on a 60 minute level how about that here's a 60 minute level you can clearly see where the rallies from the bottom up had failed and make lower lows and where we made the low, lowest lows right there, right around 1051 actually. So when we take a look on a four hour chart, and a lot of people don't quite understand those, but you can see right there where Shopify on the four hour, if you go back over here on three five, Shopify bounced when it made lows at 1024 and that is that 50 week moving average we're talking about now there is the body of that bar on 35 it's a four hour bar and we are below it when we broke below 1081 then that whole trend line that i'm showing you right there is short term resistance now let's do one thing let's analyze carefully that trend line up here where we broke below that horizontal line that goes across there right here on the four hour and we can see the amount of hours and you know there's only what six hours in a trading day or something like that so these are four hour candles, four, eight, 12, 16 hours. But look at there. That is a major four hour support level on Shopee Poo. That's what we call it, my friends. Option trading room, free trial, get to know us, we'll get to know you. And we have managers on standby willing to work with you right now. Live trading rooms are open for you. Get the entry, get the exit. And get to be you once again should we break below it there will be a problem that will be that resistance where that trend line is and these are four hour minute period moving averages let's examine the four hour sell signal minus 4.9 okay let's go back over here to uh, March 5th and see what that sell signal there was when it bounced and it did and it was a minus 16 on that day and this sell signal here is only minus 
4.9. It's not nearly as deep. No, it's not. But let me just tell you that we are getting on a four-hour level is once these sellers are out of the way. If we break this trend line, then we can, our next support level is going to be down here. That's the next major one, 1024, let's call it. Okay. But there's a shorter one right about where it's sitting at, right there. And there is. So tomorrow, we would have to see a gap up, hold support. We would run in, we would buy. And then there are a lot of other factors that go into play. I'm not even going to have time to talk about them. But shop setting up, four-hour view, back to the daily. Here we are on the daily and the 200-day moving average on shop. Sign up. You want to learn the five magical indicators? They'll wade you through the markets. Contact us. We have them all documented very well for you to use and learn. We have people that will teach you. That people I have taught, they will teach you. And they have the time and the energy to do it. And they're really good at it. So, let's get you going with those folks. Nonetheless, my friends, good luck. Resistance is going to be right there, which is 1105. And you can see where the wick is. And that is the bottom of the previous day's low. And there it is. Resistance. We have to close above 1104.61. And we have to consolidate and move higher. And we have to use shorter time frames. And remember, Shopify is a retail platform with this technology and whatnot. So, you know, all the retailers and lots of people like to use a platform. So, they make money. And they do. Nonetheless, support, resistance, 200-day moving average, and good luck. Join us today. Take the right step. We're here for you. Don't wait. Don't hesitate.